Hello everyone, I am Sachi Mehta and today I am going to talk about how to eat food. No, no, I am not going to tell you or talk about table manners. Bachman mein nani aur dadi ne kaha ta ki gussa ho tabhi khana nahi khana chahiye. Varna khana zahar ban jata hai. I am sure ye sab ne suna hoga. The food literally doesn't get poisonous but it does affect us depending upon our state of mind. जैसे कि नानी और दादी ने गुस्से के लिए कहा था सोचो कि अगर वो खाना हम अच्छे विचारों से खाए तो जस्ट इमेजिन इफ यू वुड हैव बीन ईटिंग अ फूड ऑल दिस वाइल विद सम पॉजिटिव थॉट्स वुड एंड इट हैड हैड अ गुड इम्पैक्ट ऑन अर हेल्थ लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट कैन बी डन टू डू इट नंबर वन प्रे टू द गॉड और एक्सप्रेस ग्रेटिट्यूड फॉर द फूड नंबर टू Avoid using your phone or watching TV while eating. Number three, chew your every bite as much as thirty-two times. Number four, appreciate the food, appreciate the taste, everything about the food. Now let's start with number one, praying and expressing gratitude. When you pray to the God or when you express gratitude to the farmers who cultivated the food. to the vegetable vendors who brought it to the market to the cook who cooked the food you are engaging all your positive feelings and thoughts while eating which in return makes you enjoy the meal i really believe one should always be thankful for the food they get to eat isn't it a privilege and why just to follow it only on thanksgiving every day is a blessing to eat the food we get i'm sure every religion caste creed and tradition advises one to pray before eating or even express gratitude for the food they get to eat avoid using phone or watching tv while eating when one uses phone or watches tv while eating the mind gets diverted little bit diversion is fine but what if the diversion is negative what if while watching tv we are watching something uh which is threatening which is horrifying like a murder series which scares you off or while even talking over the phone you are talking to someone who is talking about some issues who is affecting you mentally in short i'm just suggesting you to avoid any sort of negativity while eating i'm not saying entirely no but i would request you to watch something positive something good which will make you laugh which will make you have fun while eating or even talk to someone who brightens up or lightens up your mood who cheers you up you know they can all the positivity while eating which will have an amazing impact over your health the third part when you chew as much as 32 times each and every bite you become so mindful of the food that you eat you realize when you are full so you don't end up overeating at all thereby an overall healthy body appreciating the food adds really strong energy to the food when sometimes there is lack of spices or salt or anything in the food one must have complained so if the food is perfectly delicious do you really appreciate it even if it's as simple as a bread butter or a toast sandwich or anything simple start appreciating the food the delicious taste <clears throat> the texture each and every bite how well the food is cooked everything about it and you will feel so happy while eating when one eats a filling and a tasty meal how happy does it feel why not express it following the simple processes can help you have fun while eating help you with digestion and help maintain an overall good health not because of quarantine but lately i have gotten into healthy making recipes at home so today i'm going to share one of my favorite recipes with you guys it is the broccoli almond soup
enjoyed watching this video. If you guys try broccoli almond soup at home, let me know. Tag me in your stories and posts and let me know how it goes. Do subscribe, share, comment and like. Thank you.